now in last video we have uh, talk about this finding these uh, VA stars at the distance D0 uh, from the uh, surface of the support now uh, once you know these V stars we have an equations in the close 8.2.1.3 on page number 115 where it says that um, it says that um, that the uh, design shear strength of the beam it says that phi u v u should be greater than or equal to v equivalent now this v equivalent is um, is uh, is nothing but if you move the page over on page 113 uh, where you have a close 8.2.1.2 it has a v equivalent of v star now we this is the combined with torsion so we don't have torsion force so torsion torsion is zero so this term zero so v star square root and square is cancelled so this v equivalent become v star so basically basically this equation become v star so phi u v u and please note v u is the v u c plus v u s plus p v and p v is zero in our case so basically v u is 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 written here uh, v u is just um, um, is is a uh, is a vus plus vs that is written here vus uh, plus vs and phi u and v star now we know v star we we just found it 233 kilonewton we can substitute we can substitute this um, uh, concrete uh, strength um, that is we calculated in the in the previous steps so we calculated uh, all right in the previous steps we calculated this vus equal to 157 kilonewton now that we us we going to substitute here 157 and we going to find the uh, capacity of the fitments now uh, in here we us is one we you va star is 233 we substitute here uh, capacity uh, phi capacity reduction factor 0.7 uh, concrete strength uh, concrete shear strength 157 we're going to find still uh, reinforcement strength uh, bring this 0 0.7 across and we bring the 157 across we get the um, steel strength 176 kilonewtons now uh, once you know this year uh, once you know this 176 kilonewton we can find the equation for shear capacity of the fitment that is given in the close that is given in the close 8.2.5.2 on page number 120 now we are working with the perpendicular shear reinforcement so we are working with here this is inclined shear reinforcement we have perpendicular shear reinforcement it's basically if you have alpha v equal to 90 if you substitute alpha v equal to 19 you will get these equations so we know all these parameters so we can we, we can we can we can we can find this s value so this equation is written here that is uh, just uh, transverse reinforcement for shear now in here they return these equations um, uh, we can bring this s across and we bring the vus here uh, that is here now vus 176 please note this is in the kilonewton so we multiply by thousand to convert into into newton and asv we calculated 160 at the start uh, of the examples we calculated asv 160 millimeter which is just area of the fitment um, fsy dot f so this one has a f ill strength of the fitment um, that is 250 that is also we we are taking from the start of the example and dv we calculated dv uh, we calculated dv at the start of the example dv is 527 millimeters which is effective shear depth uh, and theta v is 36 degree theta v equal to 36 degree that is given in the close 8.2.4.3 where we have taken theta v equal to 36 degree and we have s equal to 165 millimeters uh, simplification gives now this spacing s 165 meter must be continued not less than the distance d past the point d in the direction of decreasing shear so what is mentioning here and i will show you in the standard as well first let me explain you this one all right this spacing is s this spacing s equal to 165 is appearing here right because in previously we found this one is 326 right if you remember that is 326 now what the standard saying that you have these calculations which is 165 is not only applicable up to here but you should extend up to the distance d passing this point d in the decreasing shear zone so your starting point is a but then you continue applying 165 165 cross this point d and how much you can cross it's up to distance d now where is it written in the standard is in the in the page number 125 now if you go to the page number 125 here 
on page number 155 close 8.3.2.3 and extends it has saying that this uh, 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 CR reinforcement uh, is should be provided for a distance D from the in the direction of decreasing shear so so if you read these three lines is completely mentioning that we need to provide that that uh, extra rain this reinforcement passing that passing to the distance d so that's what that's what written here now in this case now uh, we also make sure that we 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 we, we don't crossing the limit because it says that s equal to 165 millimeters but how do we know whether this uh, this um, this spacing is 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 satisfy the condition given in the as3600 2018 so if you go to the page number 125 again it has a it has a requirement of the of the of the sear requirement how much spacings you can apply so if you read this line here this line is basically saying that you should have a spacing uh, would be minimum between 600 and d so if i use this limit which is 600 millimeter uh, comma d and d is given 650 in our questions d is given d is given 650 in our questions so we substitute d6 is a minimum of 600 so what happens we calculated 165 we calculated 165 millimeters which is eventually uh, less than what we have 600 millimeters so we can our spacing is satisfy the requirement of Austin standard now we also made the one assumptions if you remember at the start of the uh, at the start of the examples we need to find kv in that kv we don't know the spacing now we have a we have a assumptions for to calculate the kv value in the previous step where asv is greater than asv mean and we said kv equal to 0 0.15 and we want to we want to check it later so we know the spacing now so we can we can we can we can verify these assumptions now so in here uh, we can say asv on s asv is 160 uh, i think in the in the start we have calculated the asv 160 millimeters which is the uh, area of fitments uh, and then we have spacing 160 um, 5 millimeters that we just calculated here uh, spacing 165 millimeters now here we have an equation to calculate asv mean on s that equation is given in the close uh, 8.2.1.7 on page number 114 is written here uh, that is the minimum transfer CR reinforcement and we have a is we minimum uh, equation written here now in this equations we have a uh, FC dash 32 BV is 350 uh, I think it's in the in the in the questions it's given here where it has a FC dash 32 and the width of the beam is 350 millimeters over FSY 250 uh, at the start when we the assumptions we have used 250 uh, megapascals and that gives us 0 0.63 so if you compare these two which is 0 0.97 and 0 0.0 0 0.63 is, is ASV is greater than 0 0.63 so this condition is this condition in the standard that we assume in this clause 8.2.4.3 for the calculation of kv is verified so the so the kv value is correct if it's not correct then we need to we need to change again this um, depth uh, this s and we need to iterate this process but here it's its kv value is correct now so we can provide s 165 millimeter spacing near the support a to extend a distance d in the decreasing shear what does it what does this sentence is telling me that that if you if you know this uh if you know this a to d we can we can verify we can we can use 165 millimeters not only up to this point but passing this point up to up to d uh, we continue solving this example in the next video thank you